Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. Here I have a guest with me, uh, Dan from Slice Engineering. Uh, he is visiting Iceland and since he was coming to Iceland he paid me a visit and, and he has his hot end with him and he's gonna show that. So let's have a look after the intro. So Dan and his wife Joanna, they come to Iceland for a visit and they're going to travel around Iceland and when I found out they were coming, I reached out and asked if they could uh, bring along uh, their hot end and I was really excited to get a look at the mosquito hot end they were showing off on Earth that I saw for a short while there. And I have Dan here with me and he's going to explain what the hot end is and how it's made and <laughs> what's special about it. It's a tiny piece of engineering, but uh, engineering feet, even though it's small, <laughs> it's a really cool design. So I'll hand the mic over. All right, so this is the, the mosquito. Um, got our nice little mosquito etched in here. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, it's it's a all machined, all metal hot end uh, made in the US. Um, this specific one is for 175 filament, you can see uh, there on the side. But uh, the kind of the idea was it's very lightweight. Um, it's engineered to have a very sharp thermal transition from your hot section to your cold section. So basically your, uh, your filament, instead of staying in a glass transition uh, zone where you're going to have a lot of play back and forth as you reach. So uh, when you're doing retracts, for example, um, instead of having a, a long glass transition zone it kind of isolates the the hot section to the hot section and the cold section to the cold section so you don't have thermal creep up that up that tube and uh and we can do this we can isolate it so well by having very thin walled tubes so i don't know if if that'll show up but uh you can kind of look down the barrel there and uh you see it's a very very thin tube and so we've got a thin tube in the middle and for the filament path and thin tubes acting as standoffs between the hot section and the cold section. And, uh, and that keeps the, the heat isolated where you want it isolated, applying, uh, you know, melting your filament and not, not uh, moving up into the, into the cold section. So, yeah. yeah. I have one uh, question about the, because the, this part is hot and this mm -hmm. should be cold. Mm -hmm. um, the filament goes in the middle and those standoffs here mm -hmm. aren't they a problem in regard of heat transfer up to the heat sink so we're, we're trying to keep as much heat in the hot block as we can yeah so actually we don't get a lot of heat creep up into the heat sink and so we, we optimize the design to actually try to keep uh, obviously you need structure right so so yeah. to we made the the tubes as thin walled as we possibly could to reduce heat creep upwards. Yeah, so but those the are same tubes. Time, they're tubes. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. not solid. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. So it's yeah. small material mm -hmm. in, yeah, the, in the stand -ups. It's extremely small cross section. So we've got about fifteen percent the cross sectional area of what you'd have in a normal threaded heat break. Yeah. Okay. So eighty five percent less heat transfer up into your heat sink. Yeah, like I saw on the thermal camera you had at Earth, mm -hmm. it was glowing hot and right. just cool. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. And like you were saying, you could mount this with PLA even, mm -hmm. yep. and, and not having an issue. <laughs> right, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And then you have this tiny fan. Yeah, top. so I've got a tiny little <laughs> box fan that, that goes with it and uh, it you know can mount either way. We've designed it to be to be pretty modular so you can the hope is to be able to mount it to pretty much any printer. We've got a variety of different mounts on our website and, and we're adding more all the time. Yeah, and I saw on the website you have the, even for the Prusa mm -hmm. and K3 and yeah. the two printers and, right. and they have the E3D hot end and, yeah. and <laughs> so you're, you're moving your product into that space. Right. <laughs> but yeah. I know Chris, so Chris Basement, he was mounting mm -hmm. a mosquito on, yeah, on his is. MK2 printer. Yeah, he's actually, uh, he's, he's got two mosquitoes yeah. and uh, still so have one on, on his MK2 and I'm not sure exactly what he's doing. Oh, I think he said he might do a hang printer with the other one. Well, that's a high flow. Yeah, so there's a high flow version of the mosquito called the Mosquito Magnum. Yeah, Magnum. Yeah, yeah and so yeah. he's he's got one of those that he's yeah. going to mount on a hang printer. Yeah, yeah. That, that one has the same external size. It's it just does. the internal mm -hmm. workings. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we wanted to do that so that 
you wouldn't have to have different kinds of nozzles for different applications. You could have the same nozzle for the for multiple applications. Yeah, and and then you have the the powerful heater element. Mm -hmm. That's the fifty watt. Yeah, so we sell 50 watt heaters right now, um, 12 volt and 24 volt, and uh, at some point we're probably going to go up to a 60 water, but uh, but that's what that's what we got at the moment. So yeah, yeah. So you could use high like power a density. One one point two millimeter nozzle. Right. Exactly. <laughs> do a vase pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. You do a very fast vase. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. Uh, um, um, this is uh, compatible with a E3D heater element and, and thermistors it is yeah as well as the 3d nozzles yeah yeah, yeah. so that's a uh, like i have the process with the 3d mm -hmm. nozzles i have like a hard nozzle and a ruby and right. all the like a fan pack with all the different mm -hmm. sizes i can sure try them out here yep yeah you can try out any any yeah. of those nozzles so yeah. it's a um, mark 8 i believe uh, style nozzle with the m6 thread and and um, forget exactly what the depth is but yeah yeah, uh, yeah. so it's that's cool and um, there you have the logo and Mm -hmm. uh, the core code what what does it say the core code <laughs> <laughs> so um it's it's just uh for us for for traceability purposes yeah. um is the, it like a serial number or? Yeah, yeah yeah so okay. it's it's we serialize and then um production runs yeah okay as well so yeah. the the goal is to just if somebody has a problem we can try and trace it back to, yeah. to In, right yeah, right that's cool yeah. yeah and it should help with uh with I'm, I'm sure at some point people will be knocking these off, and yeah, so yeah. we want to make sure that yeah. somebody calls and says, "Hey, I've got one of your hot ends," and and we can say, "Ah, oh, maybe that's not ours." Yeah, <laughs> so please, please scan in the core code for right. yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's really tiny. It's much smaller than I would like. If you go to the website, you see the pictures on mm -hmm. it, like a, a rigid design with a on the on the pictures but right. when you have it in your hand it's like a teeny <laughs> teeny yeah <laughs> tiny bit, bit. <laughs> right uh, uh, that's cool uh, i i'm gonna pick this on my cr10 mm -hmm. i have now the swiss micro hot end there yeah and i just wanted to try this out and see how it goes and, right uh, uh, somebody is designing a mount for the cr10 for this hot end yeah and um, i'm gonna try out that design but at the moment i'm Designing my own mount for the Swiss Micro hot end and and an Noctua fan. Mm -hmm. um, um, I might do some modification to put a Noctua fan. <laughs> yeah, on top. the Noctua fans are great. They're yeah. they're very quiet. Yeah. The nice How, thing about this one? It's, it's pretty quiet as well because it's only twenty five millimeter. Uh, you know, uh, yeah. across and uh, I think we're putting out. Uh, I don't know exactly what it is in in uh, metric, but. It's, 1.7 cubic feet per minute so yeah. it's it's pretty small airflow yeah yeah and the like the fins on the on the cooler part mm -hmm. they're not very big so right that, that tells me that the heat yeah. stops at the heat break it's, it does it doesn't go in, into the whole system yeah so it doesn't need a very powerful fan mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's that's awesome and we're working on some some data right now that we're going to be putting out soon uh probably as like a white paper or something just to show the really how how good the tra heat transfer is uh how much film that we can we can put out especially with the magnum yeah. version uh just to demonstrate really we're, we're engineers we're, we're data-driven guys who want to yeah. have the data to to demonstrate you know this really is is worth it's a value right yeah 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 and it's very light so the mass you have to move around mm -hmm. like for a delta this would probably be a optimal right. design for a delta printer absolutely um, so, and in fact, we've got a couple uh, little screws on the bottom there that are specifically for mounting to to a Delta printer. Yeah. Okay. So uh, if yeah. you want to do it on the from the if you wanted to have your carriage kind of on the bottom, yeah. Although yeah. Uh, uh, I know Michael Hackney's got one with uh, he's got it mounted from the top, just like uh, other people have been mounting from yeah. the top surface. Yeah. Yeah. I have to look at the mount that is in the works for mm -hmm. the CR10. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. And this is a heater of um, tools. Yeah, it comes with it with a full set of Allen wrenches because yeah. the the hardware is very tiny. So yeah. we wanted to make sure that you know you didn't have to go out and buy your own Allen wrenches. You got yeah Allen wrenches come in the pack. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm I'm really excited. I will I'll definitely do a YouTube video on, mm -hmm. on the channel when I put this on and awesome and, and do a, like a project video when I put it on and try it out. Mm -hmm. Um, have my thoughts on it. 
Yeah. That will come at some point on my channel. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I was really excited that you should tra travel to Iceland and <laughs> now I have the story to right. <laughs> how, how this hand delivered to right. my home. Not, it's not like I'm not to a business, just to my home. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so that's a good story for you as well. You yeah. get a customer, international customer <laughs> that you brought, right. <laughs> brought <home. laughs> and you're traveling. Right. So yeah. that's a good, good story. Yeah. yeah, so that's awesome. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so I think for now, this will be it for this video. It was a pleasure having you and having, giving you some Icelandic lamp for dinner. Yeah, it was fantastic. <laughs> and the barbecue. It's a very good cook. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. So for now, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.